Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this, I don't even know what it is, or like a revolving arrow. And it's a bitmap or a JPEG, and it's pretty sharp. And you could actually probably trace it, but I thought it'd be a lot more fun to redraw it. And I've already redrew it in half the time. But we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. And it's not a perfect circle, and it's not, but one side is 15 inches. So we're going to make our circle 15 inches, our first circle. We're going to hit P, and you can see it's not in the center of the page, but we're going to change our nudge factor and make it, because of the white background uh, is messing up, putting it in the center. And as you can see, it's, it's a 15-inch circle. So now what we need to do is make three circles. And let's take this and control D and make a duplicate and make another circle. I'm guessing 13, well, I did it while I go 13 inches and another one. So now we've got three circles. Now we need to know, and I'm gonna take indexing lines and hit P and put it in the center of the page. And that doesn't look right. Why is that not in the center of my circles? Oh, because I moved my circles. So you know what we could do? Let's do this. Control G and group it together and then hit P. Now everything's in the center because my white box is out there. Now you could just take it from here and trace you some lines and you can see I'm a little bit off because um, I moved it around. But we can get our angles from here so let's take a two-point line and hold down the control button and hit P. Now let's take a control D and make a duplicate of that guy. Double click on it till you get a rotation and go to that point. Okay, we're at, we're gonna make it 55 degrees. Okay, so we need to make another one, control D, and we're gonna go a negative 55 degrees. That, well, that's not what the logo is. It's not perfect. So we're just going to rotate it till it meets that point. Okay? But now we need some lines here. So let's make another duplicate. Control D. Double click on it and move our rotation to those. Control D. Make a rot double click on it and make a rotation to the center part of that. And you could do that with indexing lines. We'll see how close we are. We're pretty close. We'll double click on it again, zoom in here a little bit and put it right there at the edge. I'm gonna take our white item away now. Well, let's don't take it away, let's move it over. So let's change our nudge factor to 16 inches, grab that white and just nudge it over. Well, I grab, I remember I grouped it together. So go to object, group, and ungroup. Now grab the white again and move it over more. And then we should be able to just hit P and put these back in the center of the page. I didn't get them all. Okay. So you kind of see where I'm getting at. And you want to make those lines first. So we're going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete a couple of these lines just so they won't be bothering us or in the way, whoops, went too far. We might not need that at all. And we definitely don't need this. This is where our arrow's gonna go. Now here's kind of the, I'm not gonna say the tricky part, but we need to get a node right there in the center. Well, the only way to do that would be to grab this line and add a node right there at that point. Then select them both and right click and break them apart. Now, when we select those two, we can add a node and it's always going to add it in the center. Now we can deselect them, select just that one node, and move it to that point. I can't remember if the arrow's going up or down. I did it the opposite way. Well, that's easily fixed, doesn't matter. So, in this one, we need to bring it out. So, let's. Uh, Take our virtual segment delete key and just delete this other side of this line. Now when you click on this, 
it's already broken apart. So select it all, right, or just hit another node, deselect them, select that one node and move it to that center. And you're really done. Now take your virtual segment delete key and you don't have to delete all the lines. You don't have to delete the lines that are on the outside. We will probably take away that indexing line. We're just deleting the lines that are in the center. And what I did where I messed up, I might not be able to flip it like I think I am. Let's remove the, the uh, indexing. Well, I'll remove my yellow box and that's fine. Let's remove our lines, our indexing lines. Now just take the smart field. Well, we've got one little part right there. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. Take your smart field tool and fill that in. So we've got the opposite. So when you do it for real, just do it the other way. But I think that could be fixed because it is a perfect circle. Let's try flipping it and there we go. So now we have, let's take it and make it green and let's hit, let's move all this stuff out of the way. Let's just test to see what it looks like and hit the black, hit P, put it in the center page in green. So we're a little bit, we spun off when we flipped it because it were not perfect. But that can be fixed. But I would suggest starting over uh, and doing it right the first time. I'm gonna change my nudge factor a little something a little lighter. And let's just nudge that green over. And then you could double click on it and just go rotate. And now you got the same well. Let's go up a little bit. And the position doesn't matter because you're gonna make the logo wherever you want. So there you have the logo like it should be. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching.